Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so uh, this is a video that I'm planning on doing for quite a while and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about my current planner, what I use. If you guys have followed me for any amount of time, you know that I usually use Erin Condren. Um, I've also used Lime Life planners, um, but typically I'm an Erin Condren girl and although I do really enjoy my Erin Condren planner. Um, my needs are a little bit different. I, um, I don't do a lot of like decorating and um, extensive planning. I mean, I just, I'm very simple with my planning, but I also wanted to incorporate um, my faith. And since um, you know, I do go to church. I have a lot of uh, church responsibilities and things. I really wanted something that I could focus mainly, you know, on that and just have a regular planner, something very simple. Um, so let me just shut up and talk to you about my planner. It is called the Christian Planner. Um, and I will show you close ups of everything. I'm just kind of giving you an overview at first. Um, so I'm not sure how I learned about Christian Planner. I think I was, I did a search because I really wanted something, um, a little bit smaller, a little bit more simple. And I stumbled upon Christian Planner and I'm so glad I did because this has been the perfect planner for me. Like I know in the past with Erin Condren, I kind of just leave it on my desk and I don't really go to it that much because there's a lot in it there's like I feel overwhelmed sometimes so I I'm just really trying to simplify things I think but this gives me everything that I need um, <clears throat> so Christian planner is uh, was let me see I don't know when they came about but they uh, basically began because uh, let's see this this young man was Victor de, de la Cruz is the creator. After four years of military service, he moved to Manhattan to graduate from NYU and he's also a jazz musician. And he just wanted to create a planner so that he can plan his time with God. And basically that's how it came about. So here it is. Um, it, it has a nice uh, elastic that is attached. To keep it together um, it does have two bookmarks so it has one here and one here which is nice if if you want to keep one bookmark in your uh, monthly um, this is a weekly planner as well so and you have well I'll, I'll go through it there's um, a section behind each week for sermon notes and all Bible study notes and all of that because we do actually run a Bible study um, every week we run a Bible study I'm also involved in choir and uh, just recently pra uh, praise team so I will be including those things in here as well <clears throat> now it does not come with the tabs I actually purchased tabs myself um, ironically off of Erin Condren so I did in um, put my own monthly tabs on here I just find it easier to be able to you know if I want June I just go right to June uh, so yes I did put my own tabs I also added my own pocket here and in the beginning here it does come with one pocket in, in the very back of the planner it has this large pocket um, but I, I just I love pockets so I just added my own Erin Condren little stick on pockets I mean you could make your own too you don't need to buy them I'm just weird that way <laughs> So yeah, I like to keep my like my kids' schedules in the front, like their school schedules and camp schedules and things. <clears throat> so that's how I do it. Um, yeah, and I, I really love, and I don't utilize everything in the planner. I'm hoping as time goes on, I will start to utilize more of 
its um, features. But for right now, like I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I will zoom you in to show you everything that it has. Um, and also, as of right now, okay, you can't purchase next year's yet. This year, 2019, um, is sold out. So you cannot purchase that, but you can purchase an undated planner. They have other um, products. They have a daily prayer journal you could purchase. You have an academic Christian planner and an undated Christian planner. So those are the things that are on sale right now. Um, and the price for this, it looks like the uh, like the undated planner is twenty nine ninety five. I don't I don't remember what I paid for this. I mean, it's that sounds about right. It was about thirty dollars. Um, so I'm going to link the website below so that you can keep an eye out or get on a um, email list for when the the dated planners come out. I'm assuming it's going to be closer to the end of the year so that you can get a hold of one of these or you could get a journal or whatever. Um, but I absolutely love this planner. It's so good. And I, I can just, you know, put it in my little bag with my Bible and take it with me and it's great. All right, I'll shut up and zoom in a little bit. <laughs> okay guys, so this is my second time filming this part of the video. The first one did not record, so not sure what happened there, but we're gonna go ahead and try this again. <laughs> okay, um, so here is the planner. And it has the nice hard cover, but it's soft. Um, I don't know if it's like a vegan leather. I'm not 100% sure, but it is very nice. Okay, so once you open, open it up, this is the pocket that I told you about that I glued in myself um, so it would it does not come with a pocket now they are making changes to the 2020 planner I just got an email uh, today as a matter of fact saying that they are they're reinforcing the binding even though to me the binding is very nice I don't I don't know if people have trouble with it or what but I never had a problem with it, but they're reinforcing it, and the paper quality is going to be a little bit heavier. Um, I did have a little bit of bleeding with, um, I typically use pencils with my planners, but when I did use pen, I noticed there was a little bit of bleeding, so I guess next year's um, planner is gonna be a little bit heavier. Okay, so here we go, 2019 Christian Planner, veteran-owned business first page and then it just kind of tells you a little bit about the planner how to use it I'm not going to go through everything um, you could read it you can kind of pause it and read it if you want or um, I'll just kind of go through and show you uh, so the very beginning you have these two pages it's your vision board and as you can see I didn't do anything with this I'm hoping next year to actually use this and you know <laughs> but I guess I was so new to this planner I just wanted to jump in and start it and I never really used all of the features so you have a vision board um, favorite heroes what are your favorite quotes places to travel gifts uh, what are your favorite church images? So it's just a couple things. And um, then down here you have um, bucket list in 2004, the current year, the, the next five years, and lifetime. So you can kind of use this page however you want. You can, you know, use it as a collage or draw pictures, make lists, however you want. Okay, then the next page you have my healthy habit goals if you it's kind of like a little pie chart to um, daily often one to two times a week one to two times a month one to three times a year you can you know kind of fill that in if you want to make some healthy habit changes and then down here is your 2019 goals you can write some goals okay and then you have your year at a glance and the next year at a glance. 
with all your holidays down the bottom. The monthly layout, of course, is the beginning of each month. So here we have January. Um, so you have your month. It starts Sunday and goes to Saturday. And then down the bottom, there's a reflection section. What were the blessings in your life this month? I mean, last month, what accomplishments are you proud of? How can I demonstrate love for God and for others this month? As you can see, I was quite lazy and I didn't use that, but I'm hoping next year to start using that. And then you um, have your weekly devotional. You have weekly sermon notes over here. You have Bible study notes, sketch, prepare, a uh, Bible verse at the top, reflection down at the bottom, what were blessings in your life last week? What are you grateful for right now? What can you do to, this is the action section, what can I do to improve my life, my relationship with God and with others this week? Commit to at least one for the next week. So you have for me, for God, for others. Again, something I would like to start using. <laughs> So then your weekly um, layout starts. You have a to-do section here. Uh, it's just plain blank. You can write whatever you want. Weekly goals down the bottom. There's a, health, a daily healthy habit tracker if you want to track things like water or, you know, whatever healthy habit you want to track. <laughs> um, so... And it is a vertical, daily vertical. So you have Sunday, you have morning, afternoon, evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then um, at the end of each week, you have your weekly devotional, which includes the sermon notes. So I use this for my, um, my church ser sermon notes that I take. Again, you can use it for Bible study. We do have a Bible study, um, but um, we've been working out of books, so I don't really need to take separate notes. But in the future, I may need to use that for, for those notes. And then, again, your weekly layout, your sermon notes. And then when you get to Uh, each month you have your monthly layout again and then it starts over weekly so th that continues throughout the whole planner so, and as you can see I in the beginning I used all pencil I like to use pencil just because I like to erase um, but I started using pen for my weekly sermon notes because my husband got me a new cross pen for Mother's Day. So I started using that. And as you can see, I mean, there's a little bit of bleeding. I don't even know if you can really tell. It's not too bad at all because, I mean, I don't know if you've ever used a cross pen, but they, there's, it's good ink. And then I used uh, this pen here. And there's a little bit a little bit of bleeding not too bad but like I said they are changing the they're making the pages heavier which I feel like the pages are pretty heavy as they are but um, they are gonna make them heavier which is cool okay so like I said before there is two bookmarks which um, you know it's helpful and then at the end, there are some blank note pages. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen um, plain pages. And then this is the pocket that comes with the planner and of course I added my own and these are the tabs that I put on myself okay and there's the back and as you can see the elastic is attached and there it does also come with a pen uh, elastic pen holder okay and it's held up very well 
that is the planner okay so I'm going to put a link in the description box for a Christian planner and you will be updated for when the 2020 dated planners are going to be available I don't have a date as of yet but keep an eye out get on their email list and um, you'll know and like I said before you can get the journals you can get the undated planner and a um, academic planner as well right now so yeah that's all I have guys I hope you enjoy and um, it's just an awesome planner I, I hope you guys look into it and are as happy with it as I am okay guys as always I love you and God bless <laughs> bye